I noticed my trainers would tell me we were slipping and hooking. So we slip, because usually I come in that slip and I get in there, and that's the hardest part is getting in there, and I never do the punch. And so we're practicing on your slip, so you're in there instantaneously, bing, throw the punch. And I did, I was successful. Today, we will immerse ourselves in the world of the incredible talent and power of Mike Tyson, one of the greatest boxers of all time. He achieved countless victories and mesmerized the world with his unique style and exceptionally powerful punches. In this video, we preserve his legacy by compiling the top 50 punches of Mike Tyson. And don't forget, your support is extremely important to us. The best way to show your appreciation is through likes, comments, and shares. So let's get started. The bout against champion Trevor Burbeck, billed as Judgment Day in November 1986, was a fight that Mike had been waiting for his whole life. In the first round, Tyson unleashed a four-punch combination that almost sent Burbick to the floor. Here we see a young Mike Tyson in his second fight against Trent Singleton. And he's just a perpetual motion machine so far. This isn't going to go too long. The highly anticipated rematch between Mike Tyson and Donovan Ruddock happened in June of 1991. In the second round, Mike's powerful right overhand knocked Ruddick down. Mike delivered a strong left hook, followed by a right hook against Pinklin Thomas. Just listen to the impact. A big left hook at 36 seconds caused Ricardo Spain to crumble to the mat in the center of the ring. Without beginning a count, the referee stopped the fight. I don't believe it. That's, that's well inside a minute. Spain can't believe it. Tyson absolutely destroyed him there. In September 1985, Mike Tyson faced Michael Johnson in the ring. After the first exchange of blows, Johnson was on the floor of the ring, following a powerful left hook to the liver. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook just buried him, dug him in the ribs. I think it was a and Michael left and a right. Johnson went goodbye. That left hook just caught him and sent him right to the. Tyson's first punch, a right cross, sent Eddie Richardson down just eight seconds into the fight. In February 1989, the first fight took place between Mike Tyson and Frank Bruno. They were two of the biggest names in heavyweight boxing in the late 1980s. Both fighters had impressive records and were considered among the top contenders in the division. Bruno put up a strong showing, but ultimately he was knocked out in the fifth round by Tyson who retained his heavyweight title. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. In January 1988, former heavyweight champion Larry Holmes came off of a two-year layoff to challenge the new undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. Ultimately, Tyson's youth and ferocity prevailed as he delivered a powerful combination that sent Holmes to the canvas. In September 1986, Tyson's opponent was former cruiserweight belt holder, Alfonso Ratliff. Tyson chased Ratliff the entire first round before connecting early in the second with a vicious left hook that put Ratliff on the canvas. 
In a clash called once and for all, two undefeated heavyweight champions, Mike Tyson and Michael Spinks, collided. With a lightning fast left hook, Tyson landed a devastating blow that sent Spinks crashing to the canvas. In August 1995, Mike Tyson faced off against Peter McNeely in a highly anticipated comeback fight. Check yourself at all times. I expect a tough, clean fight. Any questions from McNeely's corner? Any questions from Mr. Tyson's corner? Let's get it on! The fight garnered significant attention as fans wondered how Tyson would perform after his absence from the ring. In the middle of the first round, Tyson landed a right uppercut that again set McNeely down. McNeely's hurt this time, Steve. He's very hurt. He can barely stand up. In this fight, he's got about 30 seconds left. They want Tyson to go to the neutral corner. What's going on? The round's In his amateur fight in the 1982 Junior Olympics, a 15-year-old Mike Tyson didn't waste any time. He knocked out Joe Cortez in the final in just nine seconds of the fight. Tell us, and what a shot. That is an awesome shot. That was just a jam. Here we see Tyson's left jab that knocked out Mitch Green's mouth guard. Tyson and his people weren't happy about the fact that he had a hand free in a situation. In October 1987, a skilled and taller opponent, Tyrell Biggs, posed a challenge for Tyson. With 30 seconds left in round seven, Tyson landed a left hook that sent Biggs to the canvas and almost out of the ring. With a six-punch combination, Tyson was able to hit Donovan Ruddock in their first fight. Although Ruddock remained on his feet and seemed healthy enough to continue the fight, the referee stepped in between the two fighters and stopped the fight. Here we see a great right cross from Mike Tyson in the fight against Frank Bruno. In May 1985, a young Mike Tyson had his third professional fight against 32-year-old Don Halpin. In the fourth round, a relentless Tyson landed a series of devastating blows, causing Halpin to fall to the canvas. In July 1986, Iron Mike entered the ring against Marvis Frazier, the son of legendary former heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. Tyson needed just 30 seconds to dispatch his opponent in ruthless fashion. In a duel against Andrew Galata in October of 2000, Tyson connected with a powerful right overhand that dropped Galata to the canvas. In December 1995, then undefeated Buster Mathis Jr. faced off against former undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. With about 40 seconds left in round three, Tyson was able to land successive right uppercuts that dropped Mathis to the canvas. He didn't beat the count. A devastating right uppercut, two of them by Mike Tyson, and he is knocked down Buster Mathis Jr.
In this fight, in the fourth round, Tyson hits Holmes with a left jab right hand combination that sent Holmes to the canvas. In March 1988, Tyson fought former WBA heavyweight champion Tony Tubbs in Tokyo. After waiting for the opponent to come within striking distance, Mike delivered a powerful left hook right to the temple. Tony fell. And it's over. Odell Hadley has jumped in the ring to fight. Here we see in the third round Mike Tyson knocking out Winston Bent with a powerful right cross. Here, a strong right cross and Donovan Ruddock falls to the floor of the ring in the fourth round. Once again, in a duel with Peter McNeely, he started the fight by aggressively attacking Tyson as soon as the opening bell rang. Tyson was able to avoid McNeely's wild punches and landed a right hook that dropped McNeely to the canvas less than 10 seconds into the fight. Seconds into the fight, McNeely on the canvas. February 1986, Mike Tyson and Jesse Ferguson met in the ring. In the fifth round, Tyson broke Ferguson's nose and sent him down flat on his back with a combination of a right hook to the body and a right uppercut. In January 1986, Mike entered the ring against his former sparring partner, Mike Jameson. In the fourth round, Tyson unleashed a powerful nine-punch combination. The exhausted Jameson could not withstand such pressure and collapsed to the canvas. Here in round number four, and very quickly, Jameson gets up, shakes his head. Joe Cortez right there, the referee. In December 1990, Mike Tyson faced Alex Stewart. Stewart, known for his punching power, had amassed an impressive record of 26 wins, all by knockout. In the middle of the round, Tyson landed a devastating right hook that sent Stewart crashing to the canvas. In May 1986, Mike Tyson and James Tillis met in the ring in New York. In the final seconds of the fourth round, Tillis lunged in with a left hand. Tyson dipped to his right, spun, and caught Tillis with a left hand that scored a flash knockdown, sending Tillis to the floor of the ring. In August 1986, in a fight against Cuban boxer Jose Ribalta, in the 10th round, Mike went on the attack with a powerful right hook to the head, but he missed. But he immediately followed with a left hook to the jaw. Ribalta fell to the floor of the ring. In this fight, with just 12 seconds left in the round, Tyson landed a short right hand that dropped Francois Botha to the canvas. Here, a left hook in a duel with David Jocko put an end to this confrontation. After Jose Ribalta got up from the knockdown, Tyson immediately pounced on his opponent with a series of punches. All five thrown punches landed on Jose's head. The referee decided to intervene and stop the fight.
In February 1990, this fight widely regarded as the biggest upset in boxing history. In the eighth round, Mike Tyson, barely on his feet, moved to the left after Douglas's strike and fired a powerful right uppercut right into the opponent's jaw. Buster Douglas fell on his back and the hall exploded with delight. In his return to the ring in February of 2003, Mike Tyson was crowned with triumph as he knocked out Clifford Etienne in just 49 seconds. In July 1986, Mike Tyson entered the ring against Lorenzo Boyd in New York. Criminal law, of course, at Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Tyson closed the night with a thudding right hook to the body and then a right uppercut to the chin that sent Lorenzo Boyd down, flat on his back. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Here we see a perfect left hook right to the jaw, and Steve Zowski falls to the ground. In July 1989, two Titan boxers faced off in the ring. Iron Mike and Carl Williams. In the first round, Tyson delivered a devastating left hook that sent Williams crashing to the floor of the ring. A signature combination from Mike, a right hook to the body and a right uppercut to the head. Jose Rabalta is knocked down. Here Tyson knocked out Robert Collet with a powerful left hook just 37 seconds into the fight. This right cross knocked out Michael Johnson's teeth and sent him to the canvas. With eight knockouts, eight wins from the Catskills, New York, Mike Tyson. Unbelievable. Tyson. One of Mike Tyson's most spectacular early knockouts came in a fight against Reggie Gross. Unexpectedly, Reggie exploded with a 15-hit combo. But Mike Tyson, after waiting for the right moment under a hail of blows, fired his signature left hook and sent Gross to the canvas. The audience roared with delight. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, leave us a comment, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you won't miss our next videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so right now. See you next time in the ring.